हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी अन अकेडमी लाइव ऑन यूट्यूब एंड टुडे सेशन इज ऑन ई सी जी एंड येस लेट्स क्रैक इट विथ एन एम टू क्रैक दिस ईयर्स नीट पी जी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ई सी जी इन द सिक्स कॉन्जिक्यूटिव सेशंस ऑफ और यूट्यूब लाइव स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक्स टू दी एडवांस इन ई सी जी कोर्स सो बी ऑनलाइन बी देर सो विल बी लर्निंग मेनी मोर थिंग्स इन द ई सी जी सेशन फर्स्ट इन ई सी जी what are the things uh, that we are going to focus here the first thing you want to focus is what are the positions of ecg the first thing you want to focus is what are the positions of ecg what are the positions of leads in ecg and so ainto when remember ainto when has tried to hindman has tried to understand the ecg and uh, hello dr shubham welcome so uh, welcome to an academy's live class so hindman has uh, being a scientist being a from physics background has studied the heart position and tried to record the electrical properties of the heart so using his physics knowledge he oriented heart he dis, dis, uh, he studied the heart position and he come out with three important points in the recording of the heart's electrical event and those are the right arm the left arm and the left leg these are the three important positions which he has come up with to study the positions of the leads what are leads actually remember uh, many times we call these electrodes as a leads remember leads are in real sense those recordings which you procure these are just the position of the electrodes the recordings which you get from a particular position of the electrodes are called as leads so in real definition the leads are those ecg papers okay with that particular position and these are called as those electrode position but to as an inter interchangeably we use the same word for the position of the electrodes and the recording as leads so uh he described three important positions one from right arm to left arm other lead from right arm to left leg lead one is from right arm to left arm lead 2 is from right arm to left leg and lead 3 is from left arm to left leg now try to understand the three important principles here number 1 we can record the electrical potentials of the heart putting the electrodes very much away from the heart on the body is because is because of body is a volume conductor body is a volume conductor your whole body becomes a swimming pool of electrolyte where heart is placed as a electrical impulse generator so any electrical changes in a heart actually is spread throughout the body through that electrolyte fluids in the body so body becomes a volume conductor a simple example if you place uh, your hands on one end of the swimming pool and you put electrodes on other end of the swimming pool you get a electric shock because that water acts as a conductor so body is a volume conductor and that is a very important principle to record ecg second the position of the leads and the direction of current flow will determine the recording pattern means if the position of the lead is in this direction then if the electrical current or the way of depolarization the way of depolarization 
is in same direction then you will have a upstroke in the electrode uh, in the recording of the ecg if the if the flow of charge or depolarization moves in opposite direction then we have a downward deflection if the impulse flows towards the electrodes then we have again a upward deflection and if electrode uh, if the if the depolarization wave moves away from the electrode then we have a downward direction so these are this is one of the second very important principle in ecg so all the lead positions all the lead position that is right arm to left arm left arm to left leg right arm to left leg these all the positions they are strategically designed position which are surrounding the heart according to cardiac axis we are going to discuss cardiac axis in our very next session which is on thursday at the same time so i request you to re, uh, uh, schedule your time even on thursday at same 10 pm in night uh, dr shubham if you have any doubt you can definitely ask your doubts here because uh, as i can see your chat session is open uh, dr rajesh lokande hello i am in mumbai very much in mumbai now let us try to understand these positions here these positions number first the right arm the right arm acts as a negative electrode the right arm acts as a negative electrode and left arm acts as a positive because it's the current flow which goes from negative to positive remember this point we are talking about a current an electrode and it's the electrons which flow the current so if a current we have to if you record a potential difference it's from negative to positive so right arm acts as a negative to positive and antwin uh, also try to understood also made a circuit as this three axis so this three axis is from negative to positive right arm to left arm left arm to left leg he again mentioned it as negative to positive and in an attempt to complete the circuit he position left leg as negative and right arm as positive so the initial lead position was from left arm to left leg left uh, from left leg to right arm remember the initial position the initial position was from left leg to right arm but when he recorded when he actually recorded all these positions what he realized is that lead 1 and lead 3 were giving an uh, upright recording lead 1 and lead 3 were giving an upright recording but lead 2 was giving a exactly opposite recording so what he understood is that lead 2 there is some problem with the position of lead 2 where it is going opposite in accordance with the heart position so so einthoven which has initially initially followed a kirchhoff principle because this flow of current in a circuit right from negative to positive negative to positive and negative to positive is a is a kirchhoff principle then einthoven modified this kirchhoff principle to apply to his uh, recording and that becomes your einthoven triangle in which he just inverted the position inverted the position from right arm to left leg from right arm to left leg please try to understand this point initially the leads were right arm to left arm left arm to left leg and left leg to right arm but since left leg to right arm that is lead 2 was giving an opposite recording was giving an opposite recording so to correct that recording to correct that recording the einthoven he inverted the positions so the new position was the new position was negative right arm and a positive left leg so your right arm becomes chronically negative negative and left leg becomes chronically positive positive remember this point here your right arm is chronically negative negative and left leg is chronically positive positive moving to the next point here with kirchhoff principle with kirchhoff equation the equation was lead 1 plus lead 2 
प्लस लीड थ्री लीड वन प्लस लीड टू प्लस लीड थ्री वॉज अ कर्च ऑफ इक्वेशन विच गिवज यू इक्वल्स टू जीरो द सम ऑफ पोटेंशियल इन ऑल द लीड इक्वल टू जीरो दिस वॉज कर्च ऑफ प्रिंसिपल बट सिंस आइन टू वेन इन्वर्टेड दिस लीड्स सिंस आइन टू वेन इन्वर्टेड दिस लीड्स दिस चेंज हैज बिकम टू वन माइनस टू प्लस थ्री इक्वल्स टू जीरो ओके सो he modified the equation as 1 plus 3 equals to 2 this gives a very in interesting equation and that equation is that that reference is lead 2 is actually sum recording of lead 1 and lead 3 lead 2 is sum recording of lead 1 and lead 3 is a sum of lead 1 and lead 3 so lead 2 becomes a greater and a better recording as compared to other two independent leads so lead 2 hence uh, is always of clinical importance we always have long lead 2 recording to interpret any of these disorders any of the disorders in the heart okay since we are going to discuss lead positions here so i will not going to much detail of these calculations right now it's it's uh, it's it's been designed for the next session coming up session uh we are going to discuss the positions we are going to discuss the positions of the leads here so ideally ideally antoven has divided three leads so there are in all total there in all total 12 leads which we have as a rule in which there are three bipolar limb leads Three unipolar limb leads and six chest leads. In some books, you have got the precordial list leads. Okay, so now remember, leads are actually the recordings. Are you getting my point? That's what I have been saying. The leads are actually the uh, recordings and not the electrodes. Those are the those are the positions of the electrodes. recording what you get in your hand is the leads okay what is the significance here uh i will quote with a very simple example uh, or a very simple story uh a mythological story where a guru uh wants to explain the his disciples a guru wants to explain his disciples that everybody's perception is different everybody's perception is different for the same thing and how how did he explain this situation he he chose his four or five disciples and he he blindfolded them by just tying a tying a tying a cloth on their eyes so all the five disciples were blindfolded they cannot see anything all they could do is they can feel with their hand and they can describe what they are going to feel he made all the five disciples all his five disciples followers to stand near a elephant and every disciple is given a separate position to touch a separate part of that elephant's body one disciple one disciple touch elephant's tail and he described it as a rope other disciple touch elephant's trunk and described and he explained as a elephant's snake trunk as a snake one disciple touch his foot and he explained it as a as a as a pillar other disciple touched his belly and he ex explained it as a a very big drum so every disciple uh, has got its own own way of explanation what is this story is going to do with your leads here also every lead is actually strategically located at every position of the heart every lead is strategically positioned at every point in a heart so every lead is going to give its perception of these electrical impulses every lead is going to give its perception of what type of recording means lead on right arm will always give a perception of the impulses going away from it please try to understand this point a lead on right arm means a person standing on right arm will say oh the impulses are going away from it because the impulse travel from sa node 
to AV node, AV node to bundle of ease, bundle of ease to Purkinje fibers to the apex and then to the base. So what will the right arm person will say? The right arm person will say all the impulses are going away from it. Okay. The left leg person will say that all the impulses are coming towards it. The left arm person will say that some impulses are going towards it, but some impulses are going away from it. So all the three all the three positions have their own way of describing the impulses or the wave of depolarization. Please try to understand this point. And it is this our advantage that we use all the 12 different perceptions and we create a picture of electrical impulses. Okay, like we record all the 12 impulses and we create a giant structure like an elephant. So this gives you a very beautiful example of your perception versus recordings. Okay, since we are uh, on to the positions of the leads. So right now what we have discussed is yes, three bipolar limb leads. So which are from the three bipolar limb leads and their positions are, we will just mention those positions here. Lead 1 is from right arm to left arm, lead 2 right arm to left leg, lead 3 is from yes left arm to left leg. Remember always the leads were starting from the apex uh, from the SN from the atrium part and they are going towards the apex of the heart. So base to apex all the leads are put in such a way that all of them are looking at the heart from the top. Okay. Definitely in the in the next class we are going to discuss the vectors or vectorogram of the heart cardiac axis, what are inferior leads, what are lateral leads, what are superior leads, how to remember them. These are some of the very important tasks we are going to remember in the next class. Okay. I will just give an hint here that uh, lead 2 and lead 3 are actually inferior leads and lead 1 is actually a lateral lead. Okay, I am going to explain this in the in the in the next class very much day after tomorrow. So tune in for that and uh, that session. <coughs> now, what are the position of uh, what is the significance of this bipolar? In bipolar limb leads, in bipolar leads, we have actually two people communicating. That is, right arm and left arm. They are communicating to each other. Means a right arm person says that impulse is going away from me. And that one will say that impulse is coming towards me. So there, there are two leads which are looking towards each other. One is saying leads are moving, impulses are moving away from it, and one is saying the impulses are moving towards it. So you have a very beautiful recording of uh, plus and minus of peak RST waves. Okay. Similarly, for lead two also, the right arm says impulses are going away towards from him, and the left leg says all the impulses are coming towards it. Since uh, right arm and left leg then the best position of the cardiac axis. So lead 2 becomes again a very important or predominant lead from all other leads. See all the other leads they are not in not in uh, you can say uh, coherence with what happens actually what is actually happening in the heart. Only lead 2 is the position in which it is actually giving a position from these two points that is starting from the SA node and going towards the apex in which actually the impulse travels in the same direction. Moving to the unipolar limb leads. Now what is the significance of unipolar limb leads? Remember in unipolar limb leads, it is a recording of the electrical impulses right on that position itself like right arm is independent of all the other leads right arm is independent of all the other leads so it's a it's a mathematical sum of all the three leads and the difference from right arm of all the th means all the other three leads have been recorded and their total potential and the right arm lead is recorded and this potential their difference gives you the actual potential of what is happening in the right arm level so right arm actually visualize in this way so it becomes your number one called as A V R augmented limb lead of right arm or augmented vector of right arm. 
whereas number two is left arm which which look at the heart only from this position called as augmented limb lead of left arm avr and avl so avr what will you see in avr avr you will see that all the impulses are going away from it so avr actually records everything opposite as required for your lead two okay avr will record all the things opposite to lead to see technically technically avr is actually looking at the impulse going away from it but lead 2 is actually going in a direction of what the cardiac impulse is going so everything all the waves are actually mirror image they both are mirror image of each other avl augmented limb lead of left arm will look at the heart from the lateral side and what do we have on the lateral side we have left ventricle and we have left atrium on the left side so we have left atria and left ventricle so left atria and left ventricle are very beautifully seen in your left arm augmented limb lead of left arm so it gives you the lateral recording and which is actually recording the left ventricle and left atria <coughs> the lead 3 the lead 3 in unipolar limb leads why that one is unipolar because only one pole is working as a lead and not the all three or other two only the left leg now what left leg see left leg will see that all the impulses are coming towards it so left leg will have a a greater potential recording of qrs complex because all the ventricular impulses are going downwards towards apex so avl will practically have a very strong qrs complexes so we have a v f avr avl and avf avr augmented limb lead of right arm avl augmented limb lead of left arm and avf augmented limb lead of left foot these are the three unipolar limb leads so there are three bipolar limb leads three unipolar limb leads their position is is it clear to all of you the three positions yes shubham are the six positions clear to you okay now let us move on to the let us move on to the uh chest leads there are six chest leads or precordial leads they are actually placed over the heart they actually placed over the heart now some people will say that chest leads are better leads because they are actually placed directly over the heart yeah for uh, logically speaking they are good but uh chest leads become limited in a manner that it only locally records that potential very beautifully in which it is placed on a precordium it doesn't gives a very beautiful picture of the complete heart as the impulse travels so it is very good recording for the local areas because it is actually recording a precordial areas so it will help you to localize that uh, condition any ischemic condition or any block but the the overall direction in which the current is flowing will be very beautifully understood by lead to and other leads so blocks can be very well understood by your lead to okay and uh, the chest leads will give a very good beautiful idea of the actual area where those blockages are occurring so uh, we'll try to understand the heart with the help of the six chest leads now the chest leads are labeled as v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 now how to remember them remember v1 v1 and this belongs to your right side of the uh, of the sternum and this belongs to the left side of the sternum and i will just, just draw a faint sternum over this heart okay and the ribs okay so now let us try to understand the position the v1 the v1 lead vector 1 is actually recording the impulses or the depolarization of sa node so this becomes your v1 so v1 is on the right side 
V1 is on the right side of the chest. Okay, right side of the sternum, right side of the sternum over the over the over the uh, second and third intracranial space. So on the right side of the sternum over the yes over the precordium and over the sternum. Uh, this right side of the sternum over the over the precordium. Which records the SA node potentials. Okay, so uh, the actual V1 records the SA node potentials, and the V6. I am talking about V6 now because first and last position should be very much clear. The V6 actually records the is placed over the mid axillary line. The V6 is placed over the uh, mid axillary line, which records a posterior aspect of the. Ventricles. So V6 records the posterior aspects of the. So it's it's placed in the mid axillary line. And it is primarily for posterior part of the uh, heart. Some constituencies we also have V7, where it is placed in the uh, uh, posterior part of axillary line. So uh, the Posterior part of axillary line, uh, mid axillary line ke baad mein posterior, and that records the furthermore posterior part of the heart. V2, V2 is actually on the same level onto the left side of the sternum. So V2, so V2 practically records the potentials of the uh, of the some part of the left atria. So on the left side of the sternum. Okay. So it is it records over the position of the left atrium. V3, V3 is placed just below V2, and the position of V3 is over AV node. So V3 is below V2 onto the left side of sternum. Now all the leads are on the left side of the sternum. All the leads are on the left side of the sternum. So V2. Below V2, we have V3, which actually records the position of AV node. So V3 is actually placed over the AV node. Okay. V5, V5. Now try to understand V5. V5 is placed just at the apex of the heart. V5 is placed just at the apex of the heart. So it is at the apex of the heart. And yes, apex of the heart. We find out the apex pulse. Okay, uh, we palpate the apex beat, and that is generally at the uh, at the fifth intercostal space. Okay, uh, almost three inches from the mid sternal line, or one and half inches from the mid uh, mammary or mid clavicular line. So, uh, apex of the heart, and V4 is actually placed between V3 and V5. So V4 is between V3. And V5. So you can see this position V4 is actually placed over your interventricular septum. So it records over the septal wall, interventricular septum. So every lead of chest leads, every chest lead has got its own significance. Whereas V1 records SA node, V2 records left atrium, V3 records uh, the AV node, V4 records the septal uh, wall. And V5 records the apex of the heart, and V6 records the uh, posterior aspect of the heart. So these twelve leads, that is three bipolar, three unipolar, and six chest leads, they they have a very significant position, and they overall, they all together gives you a important picture of the conducting system of the heart. Okay, so this is for today's session, and uh, I would like to bring to you very important notice that. We uh, in an academy, an academy has uh, brought you a very, very, very beautiful offer, and the offer is that uh, till 16th of December, you can enroll for an academy, and uh, you can use my code Vijay Gupta 15 on while registration, and you will get a huge discount, huge discount with 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 my code, and this discount with the discount you are enrolled for the whole month, which will help you to boost your Preparation because all the recorded videos are available for this this subscription. Plus, all the live interactive sessions are available for this subscription. Plus, you also get plus you also get a special uh, 
class and special YouTube class and also we have decided a test a mock test so you get access to those mock tests so since there are so many plus plus here we call it as an academy plus so don't waste your time enroll now and uh, get the benefit of in live interactive teaching on an academy plus see you day after tomorrow same time at on YouTube live by Vijay Gupta on ECG and more thank you all thank you very much thank you dr shubham thank you dr rajesh thank you for being there